So that was our quick look at the the Fender exclusive Japanese Fender Strat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, this is Felix. And this is Rowan. And you're watching Gas TV. We're here today because Rowan's been a bit of a bad boy and he's bought yet another guitar. I have, yeah. What did you this get, Rowan? This is a Stratocaster. Another Strat. It's not like we, have, we don't have enough Strats <laughs> in this house, right? But this is different. This is a Japanese sure, Stratocaster. Sure, it's different. <laughs> Japanese. He needed this one. Yeah. <laughs> This is a exclusive series. Ah, so the, an exclusive run, the exclusive run of Japanese yeah. built um, uh, strats. What else did he do? They did they, tellies? They did was tellies, it? they did Jaguars. Yes, so this was last year, wasn't it, sometime? Yes, uh, probably end of 2016. Right, okay. So from what I understand, they built a limited run. Uh, we got a certain number in Australia. Yeah. And Very that's few of what I know, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Like if they run out, they're they're pretty much gone, aren't they? Yeah. So you got your hands on one. I did. I didn't actually get this from Australia. Ah, okay. I did get this from Japan, but we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, okay. Um so this is it's a vintage sixties style. Right. Okay. So they have fifties, sixties and seventies models. I love the color in that. Isn't that's, it great? I've always yes. wanted um, I've always wanted a blue uh, strat. I saw I saw my one blue strat when I was in uni ages ago and I've always regretted it, so I've always wanted to get one back. It's now. a beautiful color. It almost looks a little bit like a toy. Yeah. But in a really lovely way, I think. Yeah. I love that pastel pastel yeah. look. Yeah. So what, what what else is there about this about this guitar? So sixties vintage. I assume it's got yep. a vintage neck, which is probably what yep. you know what most of us are gonna so recognize, notice in the very as a difference. Very slim, very small. Yeah, seven point five inch radius. Yes, as opposed so it's to got our, that curvature. Yeah, as opposed to our flatter nine point five yep. or whatever it is we so like. So it's not nowadays. quite as yep. good for shredding. Yeah. But it's, down to the player. You know, the, cord, the cords are nice. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and everything else is Japanese hardware, uh, these vintage style single coil pickups. Yeah. So it's all very much true Stratocaster. But my supervision tells me that these frets are probably not quite the same size as what we no. we're used to. They are tiny. Tiny frets. Tiny. And I think that's the vintage thing they are. Right. So it feel it feel it feels different obviously with having the Yeah. You almost don't even notice them there. So wow. It's questionable having those small frets, yeah. but I think they're, they're nice. They actually feel really good. You like it? Yeah, I really love it. So the question is, where does how does this compare to the um, to the other strats that we can get generally? So let's let's do a quick review. We have our um, uh, in terms of proper strats, not counting squires. Yep. <laughs> not proper strats. No, there, there are some really good squires out there, and we can talk about that in another show. But yes, proper uh, proper strats. So made in Mexico standards. Yep. Yep. They probably retail what a um, thousand to fourteen hundred yeah. Australian dollars. We're we're, we're Australians here, uh, so look up the internet's for your local like prices. prices. One one point two five Australian dollars to one something like that. But we pay American. more because yeah. we live in Australia <laughs> anyway, so it doesn't matter. Look up, check the internet's out. Okay, uh, so what? So American standard, uh, sorry, Mexican <laughs> standard Stratocasters. Um, around around that a um, thousand to fourteen hundred Australian uh, price price point, they generally come with um, uh, Mexican pickups yeah. or just generic pickups, not American pickups. That's what I that's what I meant. Uh, so similar in that this is all Japanese built Japanese pickups. Yeah. Where does this? How much are these? These retail for eighteen ninety nine Australian. Right. Okay. And streets probably. Streets probably about. 1400 so I, so that probably places them just a little bit more uh, they're a little bit more expensive than yep. the uh, than the yeah. Mexican strats then you have your American specials which if you guys out there don't know are the uh, actually American built strats but built as budget stratocasters um, fit and finishes they're probably not comparable to the, the to, to the upper end strats, uh, but they do incorporate um, uh, American pickups in them. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Um, and then you have the American Professional Series, which now have replaced the American Standard. So we no longer have American Standards, we've got American Professional uh, Strats, and, but they're around the three grand they're expensive, retail, yeah. but they're expensive. So that, that's way off. So yeah, so this actually fits quite nicely in between the um, uh, uh, one level just above the Mexican. Yeah. 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 And how do you uh, yes. work the price? I suppose of built Japan. I think, I think this is probably the best value for money you can get in a strat in a Stratocaster. All right. Okay. Um, especially because I did I got this directly from Japan. Okay. I didn't buy it from Australia right. because they they were hard to sort after, especially if around a year ago. Right. Okay. So if you do get them directly, you can get them for maybe so, so thousand US. So how did you get it directly? What what's the story? Um, there was a lot of small shops in Japan that will sell just guitar stores like we right, have okay. here, yeah. Yeah. that you can just buy directly from them and that will ship to you. Oh right, okay. So you actually got on and navigated yeah. the... Did you have to... I mean, was is, was the language an issue? Translate. Translate. <laughs> right, okay. Wow, he's a brave man. I did not realize. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, alright. So you, sometimes it's the best way because yeah. you, you're dealing with they're getting the stock direct. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. especially since stock is limited here. I mean, you do, is, a, yeah. you do a quick search on, on Google for stock here and there's really not that much to choose from. Mm -hmm. And chances are, it's half the stuff that's already still online is probably already already gone. Yeah. yeah. Um, our local music shop, Music Junction, by the way, are Spender Specialists. Uh, if you do want to try to get your hands on one of these, hit them up, mm -hmm. just call them up, see if you can still get, you can still get any from, um, uh, from Fender Australia uh, as well. So. Failing that, you could always do what Crazy Roman did here. <laughs> and get on a Japanese website, do a, do a hunt and, do, and shop around. So then yeah. they had to ship it. So it, shipping costs included everything else? Uh, what's, what's the... I did a lot of hunting. So you, if you can, if you do a lot of, like spend a lot of time looking for them. Yeah. You can find them, including shipping, for about a thousand US. G oh, okay, yeah. yeah. No, about eight, nine hundred US. Yes. So that places it at, a, so, at, a, at about the $1,100 yeah. mark Australian. Yeah. So, so it's wow. a bargain instrument. Jesus, yeah. that's actually pretty damn good. And for something that got that look and feel, it's yeah. a classic. Yeah. Look, yeah, because you can't get that, you can't get that in, no. the, in the Mexican no. standard. Can't, yeah. Oh, you sort of can, but yeah. Well, let, let me show you my little baby. So my story with this, not going to compare to that. I'm <laughs> totally jealous now. I'm going to have to go buy myself another strap. Um, but the, this is a Made in Mexico Lone Star Deluxe, uh, which is now discontinued. But the reason why I got this um, back when they were available was because it was one of the, I think it was the only Mexican Made in Mexico strap that had the Texas, American Texas uh, specials on them. Two single coils and then an American uh, humbucker oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, tw twin, twin coil. Uh, on that as well. Um, Price-wise, they're pretty between the others. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because price-wise, they're actually quite comparable, right? Uh, this was done in a sort of a, with that is that seventies, that seventies headstock, the big one, the big one, yeah. which is my favorite. I think that is so <laughs> sexy. If I could, if all my strats could have, uh, and I'm not telling you how many I've got, <laughs> if all my strats could have that, I would. Let's I compare see how. Look so it's that. significantly bigger. It is, yeah. yeah. But it's that that it was look, that look from that period, yeah. Right. I mean, but the Japanese do a really good job. Smooth, smooth. It's not a satin neck, but then again, the the, the original uh, yeah. strats were sorry, the strats in the sixties were all were all, were all uh, glossy. Glossy. Yeah. Anyway, and it's got that vintage tint. Yeah. Going on. Yeah. So maybe what you should do is play that for us. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe by yourself first. <laughs> <laughs> Very straighty neck pickup yeah. straight away. Let's go. And then 
this one. Yeah. Mm. So it sounds like a Stratocaster. Yep, yep. Very much. Yep. What we should do is, how about mm. I get you to play some of that on this through the same through the same yeah, uh, same chain? Idea. Just to that, then here because these are. Let's unplug those. Actually, let's just do that because then we get it. All right, so let's so start. That's not really comparable, is it? No, no, that, well, this is the thing. So the electronics mm. in this and the pickups are, are the difference. But just to give you, give you a thing, because I, I am betting that the, um, that given how good a job the Japanese would have made out of this, this will have that very specific vibe and feel and sound, mm. that rounded tone in, that, in with these vintage pickups, then the Texas Specials, because you can guess where they got that name from. It's going to be very So these are American-made, aren't they? These are American-made, and they're going to have that Texas bluesy type mm. thing to it. So they, I think they're going to be hotter pickups. Brighter, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, brighter. So the uh, only thing with this is the uh, neck, the bridge pickup obviously is not comparable because it's got a humbucker, but if you got the single coil on that. That's yeah, hot. <laughs> and that's with a single coil on the edge. Yeah. So it does sound kind of stratty still there. Yeah. So what happens when we... So this is humbucker on. Yep. Ah. That's very useful though, isn't it? That's that's why that's why I that's why I like the HSS configuration because as much as I love the single coil sound, mm. like the reality is with, with, with the sort of jobs you and I get with the cover bands and everything else, yeah. Yeah. you're gonna start getting to classic rock. And that's when you yeah. need that, that humbucker sound. And you also eliminate the buzz like Yeah. Yeah, there's so much well, noise on stage yeah. as it is. <laughs> it's weird though, it doesn't feel like a strat when you play it like that. It, it is, but this remember this video is not about this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't have that one. <laughs> That's mine. Oh, what key do you do it in? Um, this is a clean sound. How about a non-jazz key, like A? Or <laughs> yeah. or a or We're gonna play a non-jazz blues <laughs> in A. Oh my God. They're three sharps. Yeah. <laughs> How are we gonna cope? <laughs> um...
the tremolo. Like I mean, that's the one. That, like, that's kind of like even when I was doing that bend to mm. and trying to do that, I could hear my the because the bridge, you know, obviously moves when you bend. Yeah. So that's the one thing. I, I mean, I used to love playing tremolo. That's that's flat. I mean, that's the only you know once you do the bend, you try to hit that note, uh, that flat. Uh, so you gotta compensate by remember to bend that as well. Does that happen it, with the yeah, it, I'm pretty sure push. I'm pretty sure that's it happens, it happens with all of them, the person is to what degree. No no, you're letting go. So if you do there, oh, okay. that's flat, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, so that's always annoying me. Wow, okay. So you never notice. Yeah, that, no, there you go. That. I don't do that. Don't, much don't, don't do that. You don't do that leg. There you go, that should just avoid that leg. <laughs> so, what do you think of this guitar? I think it's brilliant. Yeah. The one problem that I've got with this guitar, though, is that compared to yours, yours is a made in Japan exclusive run. That's going to hold its value way better than any of these Mexican yeah. strats are going to. In fact, this one's already discontinued. Yeah. And, um, but I doubt that there are many people looking for it, despite the fact that it's got everything I want yeah. uh, in it. So, I don't think you'd be able to pick these up for very much. Well, there's a lot out there, isn't there? There's still a lot out there. You can yeah. get them secondhand. You can probably still get them in shops brand new. But that, in a little while, will all be gone. It will be. Yep. You and, got... um, and the Japanese uh, branding tends to hold its value in general. In better anyway, yeah. You, you got, you've got a gem there. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. So there's not, there isn't that many out there, though. Yeah. Hurry if you want to get one, because <laughs> I'll be Googling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't have another guitar. <laughs> This is bad! You're a bad influence on me. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, and really this color, bad. this color. It's, it's like it's, the sky. <laughs> it's, uh, it, I don't have a guitar in that color, and that's often enough of a reason not to go and get one. <laughs> <laughs> you need one. I've oh, seen a bass in this color as well. I thought it'd be good to have matching. 
if you are after one of these guitars and uh, just want to have a chat to your friendly, a friendly um, uh, neighborhood um, guitar That's dealer, cool. yeah. yeah, Music Junction. Yeah. Awesome, get awesome service you get down there. They're, they're Fender specialists as well, so they'll be more than happy to help you out. Hawthorne. Hawthorne, that's right. It doesn't matter though. Melbourne, because Australia. It doesn't matter anymore because we have the internet. You can call them from all over Australia and get the same level of service you're going to get from any other, yeah. any other store. Uh, you know, they're not paying us to say anything <laughs> <about> that. <laughs> we just really like them. <laughs> so, that was a quick look at the... The Japan exclusive series Stratocaster gorgeous guitars. If you enjoyed this video, uh, do subscribe to this channel. We've just set it up in our Raring to, Raring to Go. We'll be doing a lot more reviews. We'll have more chats. We plan to have, have you know, uh, chats about our experiences as, uh, as jazz and contemporary guitars. Um, we're happy to answer your questions, so, so do leave your comments in the, in, the, in the comments below. If you want to see something in particular, you want to see us cover mm -hmm. anything in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube, subscribe to Gas TV's Facebook page. There's a Gas uh, Acquisition, Guitar Acquisition Syndrome support group as well for, for those of you suffering from gas, just like we are. Um, we're, we're, we'll help with your addiction in the support group. <laughs> <laughs> We will. Yeah. <laughs> we'll help. We just didn't say how we'll help. <laughs> um, I have my own YouTube channel as well and social media as does Rowan. We'll put yeah. all those links in the description below. We do do our own separate things as well from time to time. Yeah. Rowan's got an awesome YouTube channel with his playing on that. Really makes you feel self-conscious about <laughs> playing with someone like that. So do check him out. Do check me out as well. So till next time. Bye. See you later. Do you have more guitars than most people have pairs of jeans? Do you live in the fear that your other half will discover your graveyard of empty guitar cases only to find that some of them aren't really empty? If so, click here to subscribe to Gas TV. We're here to help with your addiction.